Hi, welcome to Envato Touch Plus. My name is Monika Zagrobelna and this is Digital Painting with Ambient Occlusion. In this course, I show you that mysterious technique that makes flat paintings look like 3D models. You don't need any 3D software for this, just Adobe Photoshop and a graphics tablet. You may think that 3D modeling is much easier than digital painting. You just sculpt the form and then everything is calculated for it. This is not entirely true. A 3D model is nothing without light. Wrong lighting can make even the most detailed sculpture flat and boring. And similarly, if you use good lighting, you can make even the flattest lines look three-dimensional. The truth is, 3D models are not really 3D unless you print them. They're as flat as your screen. Your eyes are cheated by the patterns of light and shadow it knows from reality. 3D programs are capable of creating these patterns because they're programmed to simulate reality according to a set of rules. Luckily for us, 2D artists, these rules are not really that complicated. The problem is, there are so many of them that they can be really overwhelming. But we can use a concept from 3D modeling to make them easier to use. When you're painting, you're dealing with colors only. In 3D modeling, colors make only one of many, many maps contributing to the whole model. Each of these maps describes a single aspect of the model. For example, one map may deal with glossiness and another with behavior of light inside the objects. Because of this, the complicated issue of lighting gets cut into many pieces easy to analyze and understand. We're going to bring this concept to Photoshop to create a series of layers, each dealing with one aspect of lighting. I explain them to you one by one starting with theory each map is based on and ending with a practical presentation. If you're just starting your adventure with digital painting, this course will let you understand the basics as well as advanced tricks, like layer masks, alpha channels, blend modes, adjustment layers, custom brushes, two presets, and many more. It will also teach you good habits for your future work, to add non-destructive modifiers whenever possible and to keep everything neatly ordered. And if you're not a beginner, but you can't understand the blend modes and all that fuss about painting with ambient occlusion, this course will help you clear things up. This is a very universal technique, and while it's not fast, it lets you understand lighting so deeply that you'll be able to develop other, faster methods afterwards, or to find out what's wrong with the method you're currently using. If you're interested, please download the source files and let's get started. In the first lesson, we're going to prepare the workspace and introduce the tools.